Let's take a look at comparing percents to fractions and decimals. Which side makes the statement true? 10% and we want to fill in either equals, is greater than, or is less than 10%. Well, since those two are the same, they're both 10%, we would say they are equal. Which sign makes the statement true? 30% and 30%. Well, again, they're the same number, so equal. 70% and 70% are the same number, they are equal. 90% and 60%. Okay, well 90% is more than 60%, right? 90% is most of, it's really close to the whole thing, where 60% is only a little more than half. So looking at our inequality symbols, this one means is greater than. So we would say 90% is greater than 60%. Point five, how does that compare to 90%? Okay, well think about what point five would be, and you wanna either make them both decimals or both fractions or both percents, so we can compare. So let's make these both decimals. 0 0.5 is already a decimal. What would 90% be as a decimal? Well, remember 90% is 90.0. So to make it a decimal, I would move my decimal point two places to the left, and that would be the same thing as 0 0.90, or just 0 0.9. So 0.5 is smaller than 0 0.9, so I'm gonna fill that in with my less than symbol. 0 0.5 is less than 0 0.9. Point four, how does it compare to 90%? Okay, this time, let's make them both percentages. And it doesn't matter, you can pick whichever way you like. I'm just gonna show you both ways. Let's say I wanna take 0.4 and make it a percent. Well, our rule is to move the decimal point two places. So I'm gonna fill in the zero that you can put after any decimal. And then I would have to move my decimal point two places to the right to make this a percentage. So 0 0.4, if I move it two places, that would be 40.0 or 40%. Okay, and then I'm comparing 40% and 90%. Well, 40% is less than half. 90% is much more than half. It's almost the whole thing. So 40% is less than 90%. Four fifths, how does that compare to 50%? Okay, well, I could either make these both percentages or I can make them both fractions. Let's make them both fractions. 50%, well, if I wanna turn that into a fraction, remember, a percentage always means out of 100. So 50% means 50 out of 100. Now, if I wanna reduce this, I can say 10 goes into both numbers, right? I could write 50 as five times 10 and I could write 100 as 10 times 10. So when I cancel out my factors of 10, that would be five over 10, which I could actually reduce even more. Five over 10 is one half, right? Five goes into five once, and five goes into 10 twice. So 50, which also makes sense, 50 is half of 100. So you can do the in-between step, or if you notice that right away, it's just up to how you see it. So which is bigger, four-fifths or one-half? At this point, you might already know, if you're not sure, what you could do is make them have the same or common denominators. 
So what would be the common denominator between five and two? Well, the common denominator would be 10, right? 10 is the smallest number that five and two both go into. So for four fifths, if I wanna rewrite that with the denominator of 10, notice I multiply, multiplied the denominator or the bottom by two, right? Five times two gives us 10. So I would wanna do the same thing on the top. I also have to multiply the four by two. Four times two gives us eight. So that means eight out of 10 is the same thing as four out of five. We already saw that this was five out of 10 for our one half. So which is bigger, eight out of 10 or five out of 10? Well, eight out of 10 is bigger, so I would fill in my greater sign. Eight tenths is greater than five tenths. So that means four fifths was greater than 50%. Okay, which sign makes the statement true? We're comparing three fifths and 20%. Now I could turn these both into fractions. I could turn them both into percents. This time, let's make them both percents. Really, you just wanna put them in the same form and it doesn't matter whether you pick fraction, decimal, or percent, you just wanna pick the same form so it's easier to compare and see which number is bigger and which one is smaller. So if I wanna take 3 fifths and turn it into a percent, the first thing I would do is divide it to get my decimal number. Remember, fractions mean the same thing as division. Fractions are always the top divided by the bottom. So I can say three divided by five, which gives me 0 0.6. So that means as a decimal, this is 0 0.6 or 0 0.60. Now, if I wanna take that 0 0.6 and turn it into a percentage, my rule is to move the decimal point two places to the right. So I'd move my decimal point one, two places, and that's gonna give me 60%. Okay, so now it's gonna be a little easier to compare 60% to 20% since they're now both written as percentages. Well, 60% is more than half, 20% is much less than half. So 60 is bigger or greater than 20%. Which sign makes the statement true? One out of 10 compared to 50%. Well, remember, 50% means exactly half. You could say 50 over 100 and reduce it, or 50% is one you might know off the top of your head and say, well, 50% is half. If I wanna write half out of 10, that would be five out of 10, right? I could take both of these numbers and multiply them by five. So which is bigger, one out of 10 or five out of 10? Well, one out of 10 would be smaller or less than five out of 10 or 